each of the major puzzles in Tunic, from the freeing of the fairies to the golden path, and finally to the twelve secret treasures, has led to this moment. Standing before a glowing portal, the entrance to a much deeper secret, the glyph tower guarding Tunic's Arg. Our first clue hides with the fairies. After freeing at least 10 of them, we can obtain page 54 of the in-game instruction manual, which contains three layers of clues. First, a representation of the glyph tower itself, along with page numbers in each of the 12 circles. Then, a key, which, along with that on page 21, may be used to translate the game's runic language. Which is fun if you're into that kind of mental gymnastics, and isn't too difficult with a little bit of time investment. The language is essentially English, but composed of phonemes instead of letters. This handy translation guide by Apostio and Arrow can help you translate all of the writing in the entire game. Which brings us to the third clue on page 54, which, if you're able to translate, gives a set of instructions. Those instructions being, find some rare golden statues, traverse the glow to visit twelve strange beings, unsing to them the greatest song, the song of the golden path as seen from within. Meaning, find some of the secret treasures, the portal appears after finding at least six, and then traverse that portal to find what is called by the community the Glyph Tower, where there is obviously something going on. Pressing any of the d-pad directions results in a series of changing glyphs appearing in a ring around the top of the tower. So, what does unsing to them the golden path as seen from within mean? Well, you take the golden path and mirror it to make it as seen from within, and then unsing it, so start at the end at 55 and work your way to the beginning past 12. Doing so gives us the correct series of d-pad inputs to eventually output a secret message. It's a very long sequence of inputs, so I'm not going to read it out, but it's in the input sequence box in the middle of the screen, which is actually from a website that I'll link down below in the description if you want to mess around with that. Anyway, after eventually entering the entire correct sequence, we end up with Do you fear the Zyvatha for Shorko? Or Do you fear the eyes of the far shore? Dot co, a website. Visiting it presents us with a very interesting audiovisual experience, with both strong lore implications as well as an ever deeper rabbit hole of game content. Full screening the site ominously zooms into the eyes of this disquiet being, an apparent antagonistic force in the deep lore of Tunic, which we see glimpses of throughout the game. Moreover, pressing F12 to view the source code of the site reveals that both the audio and video files may be freely downloaded. And may I just say that I actually absolutely love this audio track. I listened to it pretty much on repeat while working on this entire video. Yeah. I'm into it. But I digress. After downloading it, checking the metadata of the audio file reveals not only this nice little message right here, but if the audio is explored with a spectrograph, specifically in the frequency range between 10 hertz and 500 hertz, well, the plot thickens. They actually hid trunic glyphs in the audio, which, when translated, read, We are the eyes of the far shore. Spooky. This led to the discovery of other spectrogram secrets hidden directly in the game's audio that plays in various places, including several glyphs appearing when taking certain actions inside the hidden shop rooms around the world, such as when the player highlights the OK selection or the No selection. This is honestly just the tip of the iceberg, and there are probably more of these yet to be found. However, more importantly, Important than these, perhaps, is there is an entire second language hidden in the game. I'm sure this sounds familiar to those of you who rescued all the fairies. I know that when I heard this, I thought to myself, this must mean something. Well, later, members of the community, including Apostio, realized there were sequences of notes in the audio that perfectly matched each of the eight glyph characters of this message. And this is how they discovered that aforementioned second language. As opposed to the glyphical language of Trunic, this language, dubbed Tunic, that's 
T-U-N-E-I-C, is an auditory language composed of musical notes with no written form. A language of pure audio. Yeah. Moreover, this language is actually spoken in the game by the fairies. When freeing one from a chest, one of the following eight messages will be spoken at random. See you at the fall, aka the fairy sanctuary behind the northern waterfall. Woohoo! Wow! Haha! -ha. You found me! Yay! What up, little fox? Where are my friends at? Hey, Ruin Seeker, which is what the player character is referred to in the game. Thank you, friend. And, finally, freedom. And then there is a special long message spoken by Fairy Number 5, the one freed inside the Fairy Sanctuary itself. Oh, hey there, what a journey to over here. Ha! Nah, I'm joking around. Really glad to be out of that cold, tiny chest and moving into this cold, damp cave. What an upgrade. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm kidding. But seriously, if you see Andrew out there, tell him to stop putting me in that box. <laughs> I'm kidding, no, really. You're a good kid. Good luck with the air. Or, should I say, as the air. Whoa, spoilers, look out. <laughs> but no, I mean it. Forge your own path. Golden or otherwise. Either way, I'm back in the box, right? <laughs> Which drops an absolute bombshell of lore. Andrew is the creator of the game, the final boss of the game is the air, and you are the air. The game is all about being stuck, potentially, in a time loop. So, the fairy speaks true. It'll probably just end up back in the box, right? Anyway, there are many more instances of this tunic language in the game, including the seeking spell saying, Nope, no folds of local truth here, if there's no fairy nearby, or... This way, this way, fox friend, this way, if there is a fairy nearby. And when you open one of the secret treasure chests... That little jingle is saying, HOLY! I've linked some useful pages and documents in the video description if you want to delve deeper into this yourself, because, like I've said, there is doubtless more to be found. Not all of the secrets have been discovered in this extremely deep game. I've already covered some of these, and I'm going to be covering even more, so if you're new to the channel, welcome! Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these in your sub feed. And also, make sure you let me know down below in the comments if you have any specific requests, please. I'll probably be making a video going into these languages in much more depth, including a possible third language in the game. A language of color, which is absolutely insane, but also completely interesting. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Happy hunting! Haha, ha, I'm kidding. Haha, ha, I'm kidding. Ha, I'm... Ha! <laughs> this is gonna be tough. <laughs>